The first book I wrote was a biography of my grandmother. She was a sculptor and part of her war work during the First World War was casting in plaster the faces of young men who'd been wounded. And I saw some images when I was researching this, photographs and paintings of these young men, which were just so strong, so, oh, just awful. Then, about 20 years later, I was at an exhibition at the Wellcome Foundation in London, and there were some of those same images in this exhibition about war and medicine. And on the wall opposite them was what's called a, a, a field postcard, which is a pre-printed card which you would fill in. This one was for wounded soldiers, so it says, my dear, blank, and fill in. I want to tell you before any telegram arrives that I have received a slight, serious, delete as applicable, wound in my blank, fill it in. So I was looking at this and looking at those pictures of the wounds and I thought if you'd received one of those wounds and now you're being asked to fill in this card and send it to your mother or your girlfriend or your whoever it might be, were you really going to tell the truth? You would lie. So, I decided to go down to the hospital where the facial injuries unit was set up by a New Zealander called uh, Gillies, Major Gillies. And, um, you know, poking around in the archive down there, absolutely fascinating. And I came across a memoir written by a nurse there, known as Blackie. There was an anecdote in her memoirs about a guy who arrived very badly wounded. His girlfriend was madly in love with him and wrote beautiful letters to him the whole time about how much she loved him and was longing to come and see him and so on. And he looked at himself in the mirror and he asked the nurse to write a letter for him. Dear Lily, I'm terribly sorry, I've fallen in love with a girl in Paris. Again, a lie, a complete lie. He didn't trust her to love him enough to go through with this. And you think about that and it just, you know, things start developing. You think, if I was that girl and I loved that boy, because everybody thought he was being very noble and that this was very British and very right and proper and honourable to let her off this duty without even telling her. I thought she might be quite annoyed. And what if she found out? Or what if, you know, what if, what if, what if? And what if is the beginning of any good story? And so with that set up, the suffering of the men, the tension of the people at home, the kind of collapse of a consensus of what was actually going on, and then the lies that people have to tell each other. So those three things, basically, the images of the wounded men, that field postcard, and the idea of the extremity of lying to which people would go to, simply to protect people that they loved. Because it was all about protection and fear and love. Anyway, so then I thought, yeah, that's, um, that's the start of a story, and it was.